Sagittarius. Hey, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Ooh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Hey, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Ow, what's up? Baby, what's up, Saggy baby? What's up, fire gang gang? What's up? What's popping in the life of a Saggy between the first and fifteenth of September? What's up, baby? Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. <laughs> if this is your first time here on my channel, hey boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, y'all, let me first off and start off and say thank you for all of the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I read every single comment. Y'all, I may not have time to reply because shit been growing over here. But I do want to acknowledge every single comment. So I try to heart every single comment that I get because I do read my comments. And I love my comments. Y'all asses is crazy. Uh, please disregard my little princess Jasmine shit I got going on right now. I'm on Pimple Patrol. Okay. Um, also... Please get in on the, oh, all y'all, my new subbies. Y'all welcome to the family. We is a little dysfunctional. I might cuss a little. I might cuss a lot, depending on what the hell these cards say, of course. But we don't fight. We don't fuss. We don't do that here. We share. We enlighten. We uplift. We grow. We learn. We evolve, okay? Only thing we want to do is win, 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 win this way, okay? So all that other negative shit, keep that over there with them other people. We don't do that over here, okay? So, that this this will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. A. Hey, this is a per. I'm sorry. This is a general, not a personal. Speaking of personals, uh, if you would like a one card, one question, one card, one question, one card, one question. I usually use one main card as a focus, and then I get with a probably my right away deck. I use um, clarifiers. I do three clarifiers for one question to get all the tea as much as I can between the four cards on the table. Okay, it's for ten minutes. I do not extend the time. Okay, um, and with that, that. That is for well that's going to be from now until the 31st get the 10 minute reading because it's been here forever but i am um reading it forever okay so if you want to get that reading in go ahead and get your 10 minutes for 10 dollars in all right and i usually try to do those the same day uh at, at worst the next day if i have my appointments end up running in too late okay so i do try and get y'all in the same day um for people who are out of the country and maybe can't talk on the phone for a live reading i also send videos as well so hit me up okay um again this will be for my saggies and we finna rock all right so we rocking the first messages okay you the first time they got two both times that i shuffled two messages failed these two messages were meant for y'all because they keep they kept wanting to show their face all right so the angels have something to say sag let's rock this comes from the Crystal Angels Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. Your first card was Moonstone, Heightened Intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it is trustworthy. Okay? It says, you're already highly intuitive and this card shows that your intuition is being taken to a new level. Be extra aware of your divine downloads, which encompass strong feelings, clear realizations, and a sense of knowing. Visions, dreams, and signs. Keep your mind clear and sober so that you'll notice your intuition. In addition to notice and trust the feelings and knowingness about the meaning of the message. The ego wants to second guess your insights, but don't ignore or override your first impressions. This isn't a time for logic. It will soon make sense. This card also can signify that you're extra sensitive to lunar phases. With that new moon in Pisces, it really struck something for Sagittarius. I'm sorry, full moon on the 26th. Um, especially the full moon, yep. You will, I'm sorry, you may wish to plan accordingly, such as easing your schedule during full moons. In addition, this may be a sign related to feminine moon cycles, okay? The last full moon was in Pisces. Yes, it is a feminine moon. It was um, the Piscean energy around Neptune, okay? Neptune is the illusionist. It's the mother, okay? So with that, some of y'all may be going through issues right now. I'm hearing, um, so I'm he kept hearing mother issues. Some of y'all may be having an issue with your mother or having some type of disagreement, and it has to do with conforming, I'm hearing, okay? They want you to be one way, and you're doing your own thing, and they don't think it's great, but you're just like, I'm great as shit. Look at me okay i may not be who you want me to be but i am my best self and i'm happy so because you can't live through me uh, do you boo <laughs> with love and respect two fingers to you deuces i'm not got time for that all right so yellow jasper all right it says control issues utilize your god-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you okay I, again that's why i heard with that mother issue thing this card can be a sign that you're experiencing a power struggle with someone or feeling not in control of your life. Power struggles can be like a tug of war with both sides pulling on the energy in an attempt to win. This can be frustrating and draining. So this card is reminding you to find a healthier path. 
Remember that you were made in God's image and likeness, and therefore you are naturally filled with the strength of God. Many, many a tug of war is ended when one person drops the rope, which metaphorically means that you stop seeing the other person as, a pow as powerful or controlling. Don't give away your power to others and surrender any control issues to God who can peacefully heal and balance the situation. Focus upon your own energy and actions instead of fearfully monitoring others, okay? So don't worry about what the hell they're doing, Sagi. If you worry about yourself, okay, and love yourself, then you can radiate the things in your external to yourself, all right? Between the 1st and the 15th, a lot of y'all are walking into your power. Some of y'all could also be uh, really thinking and really manifesting and possibly receiving downloads regarding another fire sign. Strong emphasis on the Leo, okay? But a lot of y'all third eye is going to be booming. A lot of y'all intuition is popping, okay? And don't allow for those of you coming into uh, a fresh spiritual awakening during this time, do not allow some of the downloads that you get to over overwhelm you okay it's not meant to be overwhelming it's meant to be a key map to the next portion to the next part of your journey okay some of y'all are internally fighting yourself about making a uh, making a move during this time some of y'all are internally fighting yourself about some of the things that you did and some of the decisions that you made during the past you will be during this time but it's not for you to live in this uh this this feeling of remorse some of y'all also i'm hearing pisces has some of y'all have a pisces external to you to feel pretty bad about or remorseful about a, a particular situation okay um they could have possibly happened in the past or that will be taking place between the first and the 15th of september some of y'all are definitely having a power struggle okay possibly with another fire sign or possibly with the water sign or this could also be with the earth sign capricorn towards virgo but i am seeing that it's an internal fight a part of you wants to be Part of you is passionate about something, but part of you is like, hell no, about the same thing that you're passionate about. It's like a feeling of doubt, like, hell no, I think I'm going to be safe where I'm at. I think everything is okay. it's cool right now. So look, my water swells, so I don't want to rock the boat. All right. I do see some of y'all going to, some of y'all going to have to rock the boat. Some of y'all going to have to turn the boat the hell over. Okay. You and the people in your boat, you and your passion is going to have to get, get your ass in that water, heal yourself. Turn that damn work together to turn that boat back over, okay, with compromise, okay, and teamwork, and come together to fix a certain situation during this time. But it's, it, it has to do with, it's change starts from within, Sag, okay? I do see some of y'all are actually, during this time, you're going to be receiving a lot of your downloads in nature. Uh, some of the, during this time, a lot of y'all may see a lot of frogs, okay? I feel like, and y'all going to get tired of this shit. I mean, because I don't like, I respect the animal kingdom, but I don't like them like that. Okay, I love them. I don't like them like that. I don't like frogs, but I do know that they symbol uh, abundance, uh, wealth, health, wealth, health, and um, prosperity. Okay, so I do know uh, for some of y'all during this month of September, the, uh, the first half, some of y'all could know uh, frogs are your sign. Okay, frogs are your sign to let you know it's the angel's way of speaking to you, and you know everything is okay. Hold your horses, abundance is coming. I know you're tired of this karmic shit, but. You can't. You having to step up the ladder. You having to walk up the ladder slowly but surely. You getting up there, okay? Progress, not perfection. Some of y'all, some of y'all are literally seeing yourself. I feel like some of y'all could possibly be dealing with a water sign, a comedic water sign. Um, Aries, I'm sorry, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this person is literally a reflection of you. You're going to realize that during this time, I feel like with deep conversations, okay, because you and this person really possibly haven't had really much time to talk because everything has been so actions based. But once you actually drop the logic around things and actually connect to your emotion side, to your emotion with this water sign okay i do see that you're going to see things a little differently you're going to see how this person is literally a reflection of you but for some of you you're looking at the bad sides of this person and you can't stand that shit but if you really look deeper and really look truly deeper you'll see parts of yourself the things that you don't like about this person is some of the shit that you need to fix with yourself period and that's what i'm seeing here between the first and 15th a major realization okay it could also come in the form of a dream for some people because i see a lot of y'all are dreamers but a lot of y'all are astro travelers and you may go to another dimension and find that hey me and you rocking real cool we, we, we rock real cool on 8d okay but he in 3d i don't like your ass all right but i <laughs> y'all it's not about the situation it's about the lesson within it okay that's right, so we rock in. During this time, a lot of y'all have a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, that you're being defensive towards. You're being very defensive towards this person because I feel like with some of y'all, you and this person, this person is younger than you, I see. Um, you and this person have went through quite the damn rodeo show, okay? You feel like, I don't want to ride no more damn bulls. My ass hurt. I'm tired. 
Okay, so I'm going to stand over here and you get your bull on, okay? Get your ride on, get your roll on, okay? And you're being defensive toward this person. You're needing to balance yourself and heal internally, okay? As well as some things are, the universe is working in your favor with things that you cannot see to balance some things out for you as well. Some of y'all are waiting to, either it's another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You want to express love to this person, even though you're feeling that this person is going to be defensive towards you okay you do you, you actually want to come in during this time of first the first of the 15th of september you're going to be possibly trying to reunite with this person but it's going to come in the form of communication first or this could be external to you some of y'all could also be uh, sending messages or receiving messages as well from a source this could be someone who's already in a partnership the last that you knew but things are not so great on their end they're also going through a spiritual awakening as well Sagittarius. What do you have for my Sagittarius between the 1st and the 15th of September in love, career, evolution period? Yeah, some of y'all are wanting to balance things out with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, strong emphasis on Aries, which is cardinal bird up here. I don't know. I look at the cards different. But with this little red bird with the little cardinal, I do see some of y'all are wanting to work it out with an Aries. Some of y'all want to balance the karmic skills. Okay, you want to... I feel like in this situation, if someone wasn't bringing love before, they were bringing a sword. This time coming around, they want to bring the love. You want to hold on to a situation. But some of y'all, you have an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus. You're going to find out that this person will, will try to hold on to you by any means necessary. I feel like some of y'all have a strong emphasis on um, Taurus and Capricorn. Y'all have a strong earth sign in y'all energy. And I feel like with this person, they want to hold on. But I feel like you're growing and you're evolving. And the, the thing they want to hold on to the tangible things. They care about worldly things, Sadie, and you're coming out of that place. Um, some of y'all are needing to make a decision regarding fire sign, Aries, Love, Sag. Some of y'all could actually have two people to choose from, or this could be within your energy as well. Some of y'all are making the decision during this time to move forward by yourself. Get your coin right. Oh, baby, and you're looking gorgeous, lady. You're looking gorgeous, my love. Um, some of y'all are making a decision between two family situations. You may have a family, you may have a, um, you may have a child with one person and a child with another person, and both of these people during this time is trying to hold on to some form of a union, and you don't know which way to go because you want everything to be fair. Some of y'all um, also, some of y'all are very passionate about a Libra, okay, but I feel like this person, this person handles you in a way of, they don't really deal with you with emotions, okay, and that's really bothering you, um, because you're evolving and you're going into a new space, your heart shock, a lot of y'all heart shock where it's opening up uh, between this time, actually I seen that in the month of August, um, but during this time it's wide open and popping, a lot of y'all don't know that it's victory going forward in a situation where possibly there wasn't any reciprocity in the past. Some of y'all want, or some of y'all are actually going to restore a family situation during this time. Strong, cap, strong Capricorn vibes, okay? Um, possibly with the father of your children, okay? You want harmony, you want peace, you want fairness, you want reciprocity. You just want for things to be right, okay? And you're going to get that, but it's just about the way you're looking at it. If you're looking at things, how they went in the past, people change. Yeah, was you the same last week? You know, you don't know what these people praying for. So keep an open mind and stay receptive, baby. Don't fear. It's nothing to fear but fear itself because it ain't real. All right. So let's clarify. Why the Knight of Cups here for Sagittarius? Yeah. Some of y'all want to move forward in love with the water sign, okay? Or possibly with the fire sign. You want to express your love to this fire sign and be able to move forward. Again, some of y'all have, some of y'all have a fire sign. This could strongly be an Aries, okay? Or it could also be a Virgo as well with the Emperor card, but I strong strong Aries vibes, okay? But I do see some of y'all want to move forward with an Aries, but at the same time, you fear this person being defensive towards you because there's a fear of rejection here, okay? This person, when dealing with this person, this person makes you kind of look inward to see. Because they're, I'm honestly seeing here, Saggy, that whoever this person is, y'all are literally one in the same. Like, y'all are... Like freaking fr y'all are literally one in the same. You can't have like peanut butter with the jelly. You can't have one without the other. Okay, but it's like something has to change as far as communication because I feel like in order to balance things out, you're needing to communicate. But both of y'all are needing to put the damn swords behind your back and just talk like adults. Okay. This could also be an Aquarius. Some of y'all possibly want to balance things out, balance a relationship out with an Aquarius. But some of y'all having an issue between choosing between two people. I'm strongly seeing that.
Some of y'all, some of y'all are going to be coming forward towards this person, whether they defensive or not, because you're, you're strongly feeling, you know, to, to reunite with this person. This person just does it for you. They can be a pain in your ass, but they also make your soul glow. Some of y'all are, um, some of y'all will be having a one night stand during this time with the fire sign. It reveals sad. Okay. They do a spell on the queen of, the queen of rods with that cardinal bird. So it could be some of y'all are looking back passionately towards, um, a fire sign during this time. Okay. I feel like you have to make the decision if you want to stay in this person's life or if you want to, if you want to hold on. Some, most of y'all, your intention is to hold on to it. Okay. Or oh, this person could be external to you and holding on to it, but a decision needs to be made. Okay. To clear the energy. Why is the justice card here? Why is the justice card here? Yeah. Some of y'all have a Libra during this time. This person don't know how to talk to you. I feel like you want everything to be fair, whether it's a Libra or not. But some of y'all didn't know the Libra who don't know how to talk to you. Okay. You want to hold on to the relationship. But at the same time, it puts you in this. They have the tendency to put you in this rejection. Feel, this feeling of feeling rejected. Okay. Also, some of y'all... Um, some of y'all will be going to court during this time. Things will go in your favor, but you may not like how somebody in the courtroom talks to you. I'm feeling that for a few of y'all. Um, yeah, some of y'all have an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For some of y'all, it's a Taurus, okay? For some of y'all, it's a Capricorn. But this person wants to hold on to you. Uh, they're trying to hold on to you using finances, even though they don't know how to put some respect on it. Because I feel like this person talks crazy as hell, too. However, they smooth it over. Somebody has an issue. You would take an accountability like you don't want to apologize you just want to walk past it and you possibly using finances to do so this if it's not you it's in your energy okay some of y'all are some of y'all are healing some of y'all are actually going through a transformation so you're walking away from people you're walking away from the way that you used to do things you're walking away from the way that you handle people some of y'all are walking away from a scorpio okay because this person wants to be the victim all the damn time um I do see, yeah, some of y'all are having to, some of y'all don't know what situations to give to. Some of y'all have two families. Some of y'all have a family with the earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of y'all have a family with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. You don't know which way to go because both of these people light your fire. But one person don't know how to heal the talk and the other person is nurturing. However, it's a narcissistic nurture, okay? It's a... I'm going to hold on to you by any means necessary, even if it means I got to have another child. And for some of you, you don't want that, okay? Um, but some of y'all are definitely going to be given equally to two situations, which can be exhausting. Okay, so make a decision. Yeah, some of y'all, <laughs> some of y'all are actually focusing on your money right now. You just recently got out of a relationship or you will be getting out of a relationship with those um, Sagittarius who are cutting people off. Some of y'all could have walked away from a Virgo. Okay, also, I do see some of y'all could also be receiving a major offer or if you're working Sagittarius is who have your own business, your business during this time is going to be booming, baby. Anything having to do with the um, esoteric realm, tarot, um, astrology, any type of um, any type of occult work, healing work during this time, your business is going to be booming. Also, I am uh, seeing here with um, sorry, I am seeing here. Yes, yeah, some of y'all are going to make the decision to reunite your family with the fire sign. This could also be a Leo here as well, uh, as well as a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. Some of y'all are wanting to turn around the situation. I feel like in the past, maybe Sag, you didn't give too much to the situation or this other person didn't give too much to a situation. Okay. But you're both, it's mutual energy that you both want to turn it around. For some of you, it's a Gemini. Okay. This person wants to come back and put the work in. Only if you're willing to put the work in, Sag, because this person this definitely feels like there was no reciprocity or someone didn't appreciate or what they did was not enough. OK, um, yeah, there are changes coming to a family dynamic. OK, and there's big, it's going to be victorious changes. They are going to go in both parties favor. OK, because I do see in the past. This is what you want to say. This is what you wish. You always wanted to come in and renew something. OK, so some of y'all is definitely with the Leo. OK. Let me see. Yeah, it's your wish. Be strong and work through the through the obstacles that you have to go through to get to the other side of the finish line because some of y'all are definitely coming in towards an Aries with this food card, okay? Some of y'all are coming in towards an whoa, towards an Aries and you're expressing your love. You want to get to the situation, okay? I do see some of y'all are kind of standing in your own way as far as actually getting to the thing, getting to what it is that you wish for, okay? Some of y'all, it's also an Aquarius that you're actually wanting to put the work in. But some of y'all, you don't know if you want to. Some of y'all have a job. 
and you want to go look for a new job. For some of you, I'm speaking to somebody who just recently had two babies or possibly twins or someone who had someone who has a son and a daughter. You just recently possibly started a job maybe about seven months ago and now you're just over it. You don't like the job. OK, for some of you, for that person, you have total newness in your in your coming to you. If you just get out of your way, whoever I'm talking to with this, you've been seeing a lot of sevens, girl. They're trying to tell you something. OK. Also, with this world card, this lets me know you're definitely coming out of cycles and going into new ones. So the way that the, who you was is not the same, okay? How you handle things is not the same. The things that you've gone through, the karmic lessons have taught you how to deal with your problems and look at things, people, places, all type of situations from a different aspect to step outside of yourself, okay? To see things from an outside perspective, all right? And I can I, I actually advise for you guys because you do have twin flame vibes. Some of y'all twin is in the building. Some of y'all soulmate, someone who you truly wanted to be partnered with for quite the time. You've been waiting on this person. Here they come. But are you willing to put the work in, okay? You can have it all. It's your world. If only you're willing to work for it, all right? If heaven is a happy home, then you know you got to go through hell to get to it, all right? If it's given to you, do you really want it? Because you're Sagittarius. Y'all are hard workers. Y'all are creative. Y'all are ambitious. Y'all are loving. Y'all love from the core. Which is why it's very hard to forget a Sagittarius. If you ever dealt with a Sagittarius, y'all are not easy to get over. Okay? But I will say that with everyone that you deal with, it's meant to be taken as a lesson, not seen for the outside situation, for the situation amongst the surface. It's how you look at it in order to shift your reality into what you need it to be. Okay, so I love you, baby. This is what I have for you between the 1st and the 15th of September. If you need that personal, hit me up. I'm not 100% booked. I usually try to knock out my bookings as soon as I get them, so I don't allow myself to get backed up like that. So I love y'all. Deuces, babies.